Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2 as Japan. <clears throat> so, we're in the middle of a war with France. We didn't have a great uh, episode last time, mostly because we lost uh, we lost the battleship. We lost the, we lost the Fuji. Uh, the, it sank off the coast of Formosa. Uh, we also lost uh, two destroyers uh, that uh, basically kamikaze into the French fleet to try and uh, wave them off. Uh... Which, you know, the funny thing is, is I think the, uh, oh no, we lost three, we lost three, uh, and, uh, one of them was called, uh, or oh, that's not the Kamikaze, but it, it looked like it on the, <laughs> on the map. Either way, uh, we got through that. <clears throat> we just finished the Fuso, the lead ship of the Fuso class, uh, another one in three months will be coming out, and we'll put that one down in Southeast Asia. We're just going to build up our forces here to try and overcome the French. Uh, we are also going to go ahead and in Northeast Asia, we're going to send a good amount of these guys down to Southeast Asia to support our actions down there. Just to help a little bit. So in Northeast Asia, we still have a couple of Iowa. Uh, these two, we're going to go ahead and... Send them down to Southeast Asia. There you are. Okay. Same with you. And then you'll raid down in Southeast Asia. And there we go. That should be pretty good. Okay, let's go to next turn and see what happens. Let's hope our allies are doing well. Two more Corvettes into the Navy. Scientists report that they are tantalizingly close to inventing nine, uh, the nine-foot rangefinder. Improved hoist, gradual rate of fire improvement, good. Anti-submarine nets, that's good. Sank an enemy sub. Sank two merchants. Good. And we also sank another merchant. So, eh, they sank five of ours, though. The battle between our ally Great Britain and French, uh, the British ship Ness was uh, the destroyer. Damn. So the British lost ship. But we do get 170 VP from, our, from Italy, so that works. Yep. So it increased our power a little bit. Ship construction, two months for you. Can we accelerate that? Doesn't look like it matters. Um, you're good. Get the third one accelerated, just to try and get it off the slips quicker. Let's get some cruisers going. So if we went ahead and we wanted to do a heavy cruiser, or an armored cruiser. Oh yeah. That is a big one. 26 knots. Cramped accommodation. Can we go for a normal accommodation? No, no, it wouldn't work. Eight and a half inch belt. Could bring down these to kind of give us a little extra weight. Some of these six inchers, which allows us to have normal accommodation. It's a big ship. Get a little bit of extra ammo in here. So would that be the Takawa class? I think that Takiwa. What would it be? Tokiwa? Tokiwa class? I'm gonna say Takawa class because I'm, I'm not sure if you would you would enunciate the I as well as much as I would like to. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we'll go with that. That's a big ass ship. We'll take that. Three months because we don't have the ability of putting up a uh, a big ass uh, dreadnought or battle cruiser yet. Uh, we need to get some more industrial power and etc. So, latest army offensive turned into a bloody stalemate with appalling loss of life. It's Japanese army. There's a reason I don't care about them as the leader of the Japanese navy. Uh, okay, econ economizer, one percent weight savings on machinery. Scientists made unexpected advances in armor development. Good, good. Improved annealing. Annealing? I'm not sure what that means. Better armor quality, though. 
Nine Inch Rangefinder. Uh, they sank some of our ships. In a battle between another British destroyer destroyed. Okay, they got another battleship as well. Okay, ships in service. Let's go ahead. I want the... In Southeast Asia, I want you to start raiding. That's good. We'll see how that works. Another month for another battleship to come off the slips. Another one of our corvettes will be coming out, though I will say, let's go ahead and just look at the corvettes here. You are all in the waking up period. I want you all to move to Southeast Asia, where you will help with harbor defense. Okay, nine months at war. We've got plenty of extra money now. Try and build some more subs. Let's put them on there, six more. Oh, not that, all right, next turn. <sighs> Convoy defense, they don't have a lot. We'll accept that, they decline. Enemy coastal raid. They don't have a lot. Accept that. Ships from Italy have joined us. Okay, probably destroyers, knowing the Italians. I'm assuming. Oh no, light cruisers. The Lispliza and the Saliarno. Saliarno. Yeah, they're not great. They're 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 not great. I mean, that one's better. They're not great though. We've got our two heavy cruisers and a light cruiser up there. So we're defending uh, Taco, uh, not Taco, Takio, Takio, I think is how you would pronounce it. And then we have Installation 4 here, which is probably their target. It is a coastal raid, so we'll see what they come in with. They don't have a lot, so <clears throat> we can only hope. It is morning, so let's hope they didn't come in here with, like, Battleships. If they come in here with battleships, then we're fucked. I mean, that's just... This is just how it's going to have to go. Let's have you kind of... juke that way, see if you can spot anything. Okay, that's another destroyer and light cruiser division. Let's go with this armored cruiser. Let's go up that way. And then the Italian light cruisers will also go that way. See if we spot anything. Okay. Okay, I think I figured out the shortcut. It's uh, control. Left click, good. Let's we'll see what they got here. Okay, so we have spotted some ships. It said two battle, it said two dreadnoughts and a heavy cruiser. I am hoping that is not the case. Three heavy cruisers going that way. So what we're gonna do. Let's move this direction, and then you are going to go down that way. We're going to see what we spot. That is a light cruiser. I can very much hope that that is all they have. We get our light cruisers at full speed. See what they got. Not seeing anything else. I don't know what they would have. Casting a wide net, though. Somebody broke off somebody for 
some survivors. They did destroy a ship. Okay, that's Corvette. Was it just that light cruiser? Was that it? There's no way that was it. They reported three ships. But these Corvettes would have been spotting them if they were around that way, so maybe that was... Maybe that was false reporting? It was like... Hmm. It's a possibility. That does happen. Unless we get reports of fire coming from that direction. I think this is the only culprit. Made a turn towards us. Very hostile turn towards us. All right. Let's go this way. The cruiser. It's opening fire on that light cruiser. Go around. Okay, she's getting hit from broadsides uh, of our heavy cruisers, which is uh, the Awade class, which is pretty damn good. Those are eight-inch main guns. Five and a half-inch belt. What? What is? What is this guy? He's got. He's got ten six-inchers, two and in, uh, four inside of turrets, twenty-one knots, two-inch belt. Yeah, we've got. Fairly good broadside going in on him. What I want to do is make sure that he's not going to get through our, our chase force here. Okay, start turning into him. Hey, we got him with a torpedo! That is good. That is really good. Make sure our light cruisers are keeping them in their sights. He is apparently sinking. I doubt that. It's a single torpedo hit. Gonna make sure we're not gonna get too close, but we're gonna make we are gonna keep him kind of bracketed, like boxed in. We don't want him getting out. Okay, it's getting broadsided by multiple ships. I care a little bit less about the Italian ships. Okay. Peter almost hit him. Okay, light cruiser took a bit of a hit there. All right, we killed him. They got one auxiliary and we knocked out a light cruiser. That is good. They have a limited amount of cruisers in the area and that's a major victory, gain of prestige point. Okay, the Suo, uh, Battleship Suo, has been commissioned. All right, we sank an enemy sub. They sank a merchant. We sank one of their... Okay, so they still won in terms of trade warfare, but it was okay. All right. Just want to double check. What do you got in this area? Did you vacate all your battleships? Yeah, they pulled them out. Where'd they pull them out to? They're pulling them back to the mainland because Britain and Italy, I think, have them blockaded, maybe? I'm not sure. Definitely in the Med, but I don't think that counts. 
either way, that's that's good for us. They are completely at our mercy. But the problem is, we can't invade! Because we don't have invasion range. Yeah, our invasion range is still pretty crap, so... Let's go better fleet tactics, by the way. Because um, I don't think... Does fleet tactics give us... Yeah, I don't think it gives us extra invasion range. So that sucks. Okay. Uh, but that means we finished another battleship. So that gives us a lot more income there. We'll have a couple more heavy cruisers here in a bit. Though I do want to make sure we have ready a... Can we get a battle cruiser, maybe? Battle cruiser. The Acoma? I think, it, I think that's how you pronounce it. The Acoma? Uh, it's a little bit too heavy. A little bit too heavy. Can we just pop that up by a little bit? Yep, Yukoma, 12-inch guns, quality zero. Uh, quite a few secondary guns and casemates. 26 knots. 6-inch belt. Torpedo defense one. Quite a few torpedoes. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear torpedo mounts because I don't, I don't use torpedo mounts for my heavy ships. We're going to get rid of them. And we're going to use that extra weight to, one, give us just a little bit of extra ammo. Because I think that, because we can't do much else with that, like, 100 extra tons. But we can get extra ammunition. An extra 10 rounds per gun is going to be very helpful. And that is perfectly valid. Yeah, the Akoma class. We're going to go ahead and... Actually, you know what? Instead of doing the Akoma class, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, let's, uh, I know it doesn't work with the, the actual, uh, setting and everything like that, but it is a reward for my patrons. Uh, we're going to call this one the, uh, we're going to call this one the Samson, the Samson class. I think that's good. Yeah, the Samson class, who is one of my patrons. He's a sergeant, I believe, so he gives, uh, he's in the mid-tier, but that gets him on the naming list. So that'll be our first patron name right now, so the Samson class. Uh, and let's go ahead and, uh, go to the next turn. Another Corvette into the Navy. British offering to sell us the rights to fire control, mechanical fire control computer. Yeah, we'll take that. We have a lot of extra money. So... Accuracy increase. Sank another enemy sub. We sank almost on par in terms of enemy, in terms of merchant ships, but they they, they edged out with two extras. Operations of our ally Italy adds 150 VP. That's good. All right. Okay. Taco class. We're going to go ahead and put on two of those. There we go. Okay, nine more months for the last of the Fuso class, the uh, Heizen, to be finished. All right. God, I wish we could invade. If only we can invade just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. We could go for... We go for uh, oh, what would that be? That'd be... Kewang Shuan? Kewang Shuan? I think is how you pronounce it. I don't know. Ah, darn. Be great. Okay. Well, we are winning again, so that's good. Uh, next turn. 1% weight saving on hull is good. We sank two merchants. They sank one. Hey, we beat them in trade warfare this time around. That's good. Great Britain adds 160 VP. In battle between the Italian and French, the French ship... Uh, oh, it's a heavy cruiser and, the, and an Italian destroyer. Hey, that's a good trade. That is a good trade, the Italians. The Italians are doing better than the British right now in this war, which is kind of amazing. Let's be honest right now. <laughs> kind of amazing. And yeah, the French have just pulled all of their battleships back to their home ports. French, right? Where the hell did they send their... 
for JMC. I don't know where the French battleships are. They're not here. They're not there. Not there. Where the hell did the French battleship fleet go? Oh, no, there it is. Okay, I was looking at the wrong thing. No, they're, they're all 12 of them are there. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good for a second. I thought, where the hell did all the French battleships go? <laughs> did they learn how to make them submersibles? Oh, that'd be bad. Okay, we got two more months before the Samson class uh, battlecruiser is ready to go. Uh, I'm hoping we can get these destroyers done. Uh, that would be good. Hmm. Just looking around. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Next turn. Okay, the Suo is finished. We're her working up. That's good. Examination of captured enemy munitions has helped us in our research of AP projectiles. Nice. Did we get a... Okay, diesel engines. 5% increased sub reliability is good. Uh, uh, friendly merchants. We lost one. Yeah, they beat us that month. Battle between our ally Great Britain and French. The French lost a heavy cruiser. Yes. The more heavy cruisers the French lose, the better off we are. Okay. I got here one more month for you still accelerating you for seven months you've got a while to go so let's just accelerate these guys see what we can get out of them okay cut a month off that one I just need to get them out quickly French do not have a lot here. So we are in control of Southeast Asia and in control of Northeast Asia. Yeah, the French colonial possessions are not doing great right now. And let's check the Almanac. Dreadnoughts in service. Only two forces have dreadnoughts. That's the Americans and the Italians, which is actually kind of surprising. The French have one battlecruiser and another one being made. Uh... It's bigger than the uh, British battlecruiser in terms of battleships, or in terms of, yeah, in terms of pre-dreadnought, like battleships. Uh, oh, wow. I remember, I realized in the early things I was saying dreadnought instead of uh, battleship. No, pre-dreadnought battleships uh, for regular bees, for single bees, double bees is, uh, is actual dreadnoughts. Ooh, I'm going to get something like that, and like, I'm going to get some crap in the comments. Uh... We're winning in terms of numbers, but they've got theirs more concentrated. Uh, because our coalition's got, uh, let's see here, 12, 21, so that's 33, plus 7, equals 40, 40 battleships. 40 pre-dreadnought battleships against 12 of theirs. Pretty good. Uh, heavy cruisers, we're also beating them. Again, they're just more concentrated uh, in terms of their heavy ships. Their cruisers are everywhere. Okay, next turn. Cruiser action. We could probably win that. If they decline battle. Convoy defense. We could probably win that. Two destroyers unable to take part in battle. A distanced coastal base. Okay. This probably be the really tiny ones that we still have. Alright, well we got heavy cruisers. Enemy ships immediately. Squadron Max, get you, I want you, instead of a formation, go to line ahead, go. Squadron Max, Let's see what you've got. Okay. That is a heavy cruiser. Okay, we're giving them hell. What are you? Oh, you're you're a pretty shitty one. It's four seven-inch guns. The Awade has got eight-inch guns, five and a half-inch belt, six-inch belt. So you're heavily you're more heavily armored, but you've got crappier guns. Uh, 
I also think you're quicker, aren't you? Yeah, you seem quicker. Okay, all of our transports are... Really getting mixed in there. Okay, straight in there. Close in fight. I don't know who launched that. We launched that. Okay, there we go. We're doing a nice strafe of them. Straight back around. Come on. Oh yeah, he's getting peppered from a lot of different angles. Okay, you got a bad hit there. Okay. Oh, he's on fire. That's gonna make him easier to hit. Make these light cruisers kind of cut into that destroyer. Try and knock him out of the fight. It's a couple of hits. Okay, they're going after that merchant task force there. Our destroyers are up northerly a little bit. Yeah, heavy cruiser got mixed in. I think they put out that fire. They did. They hit him. <sighs> what has he got in terms of damage? Lost one turret there. That turret's out of action. He's got two turrets still up. One of our ships got hit in the engine room. Didn't lose any speed, though. That's good. Heavy cruisers still slow. Just continue striking that heavy cruiser. I want that thing to be peppered. Okay, she's taking some damage, but she's still doing okay. Alright, peel off. Okay, one of our ships is on fire. Okay, fire's down. Lost a transport. Okay, there we go. Found him his speed. He is on fire. What are you doing? Is he still on fire? He's still on fire, so he's taking damage. He has not been able to put it out. Oh! Morning. That's going to help us a lot. Okay. Let's get you back up there. For some reason, my mouse seemed to die for a second there. Okay. Let's get the light cruisers up there as well. What are you going at? 15 knots, taking heavy damage, it says. He is still on fire. Doing okay. That's their destroyer. 
who's not doing so hot himself. Taking heavy damage according to that. All right, we'll turn back. He's taking enough damage. Let's see if we can knock out that destroyer. Okay. Oh, he stopped in his tracks. There he is. Doing about five knots. Sea sinking. Well, he's getting shot at. Yeah, we'll detach. Pick up some survivors. We sank both of them. They both sank off screen. <laughs> and they did not sink six of the transports. So that was a good active defense there. We got them out of the uh, the fur ball of the uh, transports and uh, knocked them out piecemeal. Good. Very good. Leave scenario. All right, major victory. Nice. Uh, sure. Battle of the, uh, what would that be? The, the Elimaro Altal? Atel? I, I know how to pronounce it. I just, um, for some reason, I can't do it right now. Atoll? Atoll? Can you Atoll? Fucking, why can't I say that? I know it. I just can't say it. Have there ever had that happen to you? Uh, in a battle between our ally, Great Britain and France, British lost another destroyer. Not doing great. Britain, not doing great. Uh, okay, Samson's finished, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and make two of, two of them, uh, but we are going to halt construction immediately of one of them, because it is a very expensive ship to make, and we're ending the episode here, because that is, uh, because, well, we're at the end of the episode, it's, uh, we're over time, actually, so, thank you for joining me for this episode, if you liked it, please leave a comment down below, I'll hit that like button, if you want to support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below, as well as taking a look at the description down below, where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page, I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye.